Whoa. We are not alone here. We are not alone. external biological threats. And that is in room one. Ship or get us out of Hello and welcome to a look at a new title that'll be out in the next day or two by the name of Deep Sixth. Uh, Deep Sixth, it's a it's a term, it's a uh, a phrase that I've I have heard of, but I've never really never really um knew the meaning of. So I had to look it up, and it means to dispose of, discard, or get rid of, which is more or less what happens to your character in this game. Uh, you play the part of a convicted criminal whose sentence has been purchased by a company, and they have. They've thrown you out into the middle of nowhere in space. Here's a spaceship. It's falling apart. It's a piece of junk. Go and make us lots of money before you die. Now, that's pretty much the story. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit more to it, and we'll find it out as we go along. I've played just a little bit of it. And we'll get straight into it with a new game. We won't continue. Two different modes. Easy mode, normal mode. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i been playing in normal mode. The main difference between easy and normal uh, well normal's meant to have a, a fair few more bad things happen to you as you can see right here uh, and you, you survive a little bit longer in easy mode you also get a, a list of problems in easy mode whereas you just got to work it out as you go along in normal mode uh, I'm going to play in easy mode only because I'll probably be going a little bit slow or attempting to go a little bit slower for YouTube and that's my excuse we're going with it. <laughs> we'll get straight into it. Maybe a few cutscenes here. Well, that's, that's who owns us. Involuntary Employee 6584. Guilty verdicts. One charge, criminal negligence. Yeah, cost uh, a lot of money to a lot of people, apparently. Sentence, involuntary I service. I had a job all this, and I was good at it. Or, <laughs> I thought I was. I was an AI operations monitor, basically a babysitter. My job was to make sure all the robots and the programs humanity depends on don't screw up and hurt anybody. The job wasn't particularly taxing. Protocol 1, keep an eye on the AIs. Protocol 2... Make sure they're not doing anything weird. Protocol 3, shut them down if they start doing something weird. What I didn't figure out was Protocol 4. Don't get complacent, no matter how easy the job is. They say the total cost of my negligence was several billion credits, and a Mars colony was temporarily deprived of some good kosher cheese dish. After the guilty verdict, a company called Astra Interstellar Solutions wasted no time buying my corrections contract. Now, all I want is to finish my time, get home, and start over. Hello, involuntary employee number 6584. Welcome to your home away from home. Thank you. I am the artificial <laughs> intelligence unit assigned to your surveying vessel <laughs> that is currently Let's go for a in the hangar. I am known as the Universal Remote Sentient Avatar, or URSA. That's a painfully shoehorned acronym. Looking around, you'll notice that no expense has been spared for your comfort and security <laughs> during your yeah. very definite stay with Astra. Enjoy the sights and sounds of deep space from your furnished cell. If there are ever more sounds than there are sights, something is very wrong, and you should relay an emergency signal immediately. If there are no sounds, the station may be decompressed, and you should relay an emergency <laughs> signal immediately. Uh -huh. If the emergency signal system is down, you should relay an emergency signal immediately. You no doubt can't wait to get started making a name for yourself within the Astra Interstellar Solutions family. Before you begin, you may want to check your messages. We will get there. Uh, yeah, that AI it can be a little annoying, but at the same time, very useful. Uh, middle click or press space to identify. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's do that. There's only three in here. Get your bed so you can sleep a little bit. A window so you can click on it and it will tell you. Just 
stare out into the void and you can feel its presence staring right back at you. Uh, every so often it changes and it says something different. I haven't seen any... I perhaps haven't played enough to see any any use in the window or, or the bed for that matter. However, the computer. This is important. Now, had I known that they... Um, that whole story thing was going to be said, I probably could have started off a little bit quicker with the intro. I thought I must have read that somewhere in the description. Um, so I should probably also warn you, I have received this as a uh, press copy. So anyway, let's get into it. I'll, I'll put it in the description down the bottom. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this though. Uh, you can use this computer to read and answer messages, get new, message, uh, get new missions, repair your ship, order new parts and install ship upgrades. The tutorial, that's pretty much your tutorial. This occasionally will pop up and tell you things like this. It can be a little confusing at first. Uh, I had to play a bit, discover what I was doing, and die a fair lot, a fair bit too. Anyway, uh, you have four little tabs to click here. Upgrade your ship. You can upgrade the ship when you get your, your different credits and your different resources as you go along. You got your weapons. Uh, useful, obviously. I own find them as useful to begin with uh, as some of the other options just because well you try to avoid combat <laughs> as best you can I prefer to run I've discovered that not running will get you killed always especially if you're playing on normal mode uh, what do we got sensors is it uh, the your scanner this here is very important to get upgraded as soon as you can uh, the sooner you can scan things and easier to scan from a distance to begin with you can only scan and get a rough idea what's around you so yeah getting that upgraded will make things a little bit easier to find hyperdrive is also something you would well yeah get that one upgraded pretty fast and you'll be escaping quick i prefer the hyperdrive option to the guns battery however this one here is what usually kills me because i do run out of power and of course once you run out of power you can't do anything bar die Probes, never really played around with them too much. I've, uh, I've used them uh, just a little bit. But basically, you can, using your guns, blow up an asteroid or a, a mineral deposit. Send your probe out and collect that. That'll get you a little bit of coin. Uh, hull, uh, health of your ship, obviously. And shielding. Also useful, however, uh, I have very bad timing when pressing the shields and don't do so well with it we can't do anything there just yet ship repair you will need to repair things on your ship not just the ship itself you have to have the parts you do start with enough parts to get you through uh, a fair way so we're not going to buy anything every so often you'll get a message saying uh, for example metal plates buy two for one so you you spend your one uh, little token and you'll get 10 instead of 5 you'll get one crate but the important one for now will be missions uh, messages we're going to quickly look at that before we get into missions welcome to our team that's just congratulations uh, welcome to our team but you know you're, you're still a bad person and you're disposable and we don't really care about you uh, manual's been updated with technical information about the safe operation of the Series 6 Deep Space Vessel. Uh, you, the manual, you will need that. And, hi friend, uh, this is from your artificial intelligence. Just saying, we're all good and um, don't become attached to me, basically, is where we're going with that. Uh, this particular mission is mandatory, you must do it. Uh, periodically, you will receive... A mission that you have, uh, she says it right here, I think. Always read your mission instruction carefully. Most of the time, you can choose between two or more missions. Sometimes Astra assigns you a mission that you can't decline. This is one of the ones you can't decline. It's like the tutorial kind of mission. Astra Interstellar Solutions uses long range communications bu uh, buoys or buoys, depending on where you're from, to send and receive uh, telemetry from surveying and mining craft in the field. These buoys are critical to maintaining our operations and oversight in nebula. Uh, a, micro, a micrometeor appears to have severely crippled one such boy. 
I'm going to keep doing that, <laughs> just to annoy people. Um, I'm annoying myself more than anything, and sent it on a wayward course. The communication, uh, basically, a little satellite has been knocked out of orbit, and it's disappeared, and if the, if the competitors get their hands on it, that will be bad for us. So we have to go and find it and destroy it. This opens when you select, when you uh, accept a mission. This is your ship, and you can see it in the background there. And this is an overview of the Nebula. Your first mission is to find and destroy a communications buoy. Buoy. <laughs> uh, yep, Astra has given you the start coordinates. So click on that sector. Uh, we're here, and that is where it is. So we're going to go there, activate hyperdrive, and. Okay, wow. Experience a hyperdrive in my life, and now I never want to again. Astra Interstellar Solutions Apparently we're going to talk a little bit. The construction of all of its vessels. However, in the extremely unlikely event of a catastrophic systems failure, I am obligated to remind you that any problem can be solved by troubleshooting it in your field manual. Thank you. That's literally the least comforting set of words I have ever heard strung together before. Yeah, well, it's... It, okay, let's start scanning okay. for that missing boy. We'll get there, let's we'll get there. Our deep space scanner and get this over with. Here if is... You notice the power yes, I, I noticed it. The left, we are currently allocating three units of power to the scanner. Increase this to five to speed up the rate of scanning. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have put the tutor tutorial on. We'll get to that. Uh, you can see there's a few tabs around the outside here. These will be here no matter where you go. There's another one that will show up down the bottom here as well. Uh, this one here is the most important one until you, you learn the game inside out and you'll still be coming into here. This is all the, the problems that can occur on your ship and how to fix them. So for example, the scanner room. You can see the scanner has problems, scanner error. It'll tell you how to actually find out what the error is and how to solve it uh, and that's basically the game in a nutshell around here again if you hold space you'll see that you've got all kinds of things this here is the viewing room uh, down here the, the missing tab here is a uh, uh, going to and from different areas of the ship which we'll get very soon once we do the little mission part that they gave us just then your mission is down here what we're actually trying to do we're trying to find the the, the buoy and destroy it. Uh, over here is the last bit of chatter you've had with your your AI. Your backpack's up here, and we're going to look in here. We're going to take you duct tape. You will also you use duct tape if you end up with a hull breach. Actually, <laughs> you duct tape it up. Um, yeah. Uh, power relay. We won't be needing. Probably won't be needing a lot of this stuff just yet. Power relay, it's when you have a problem with power. Local radar shows you all around your ship. You will be using that a fair bit. Uh, radiation detector is when you're changing the batteries, atmosphere gauge, kind of self-explanatory thermostat, same thing. Uh, all these things, you will run into issues and it'll tell you you've got to go into uh, the laser configuration panel, for example, and it'll tell you that it's not calibrated, you've got to fix it, and you've got to work out how. We'll work out. We'll run into those problems as we go along. The power system over here. This here is the power that we have supplied through the batteries. We can put them into all these different things. You've got gun one, two, three, four, and five. They correspond to the viewing rooms. We're in viewing room one. If I put this all the way up to five, that means my guns are going to be more powerful. Uh, I can take. Oh, actually, it's not going to let me because it's only going to. Oh, I've got a full battery here, so I can actually take away. Uh, you can take it away. You can take them all the way if you've got room over here. Our batteries are pretty full at the moment, so we can't do that. But we don't need to anyway. Um, then you've got scanners. Yep, thank you. Scanners right here. So upping that will scan faster. Your hyperdrive is next, and that will recharge the hyperdrive quicker. And then your targeting computer. So this here is how fast you track. So at the moment we've got that on one. Jeez, you can see slow. how slow Adding it is. Power to the targeting yes, I know. Speed up if we put it all the way up, you can see how fast it tracks now, much much quicker. We don't have anything to shoot at right now. I usually like to have my scanners. Pilot. 
The ship scanner and hyper drive is experiencing up. a malfunction. Seriously, we gotta maintaining optimism tab here. is essential for mission success. So let's head on over let's to, go to the deep space scanner room and see what the problem. The is. scanner room. If we click here, you can see the whole ship. You got this central part here: the scanner room, the hyperdrive room, and the reactor room. And over here is each of your viewing and gun rooms or ports. Uh, now it wants us to fix a problem with the scanner so we click on the manual yep click on the scanner room okay and it'll tell us this is this is literally the one that I just showed you so go to the deep space scanner uh, well this is the problem it's no longer functional you're going to go to the computer and find out what the problem is right there uh, displays error code 106 okay cool right we go back to the manual and okay and go away you 106 terminal motherboard failure open the scanning room hardware carefully remove the menu uh, malfunctioning universal control board and replace with an identical part okay it's up here you can see it's nice and damaged so we're going to get rid of it and in our backpack we don't have one so now we have to find one and around here we do have a locker up here it does not have anything in there okay but you know what that is a cable that we will use at some point to uh, fix our ai so i'm going to grab it and put Attention it in there pilot. anyway this is where the hyperdrive and ship's life support systems are located yes. your survival has been deemed a medium level priority and therefore the continued oh. operation of these systems are considered to be desirable only medium level that I'm a little uh, offended but okay yes yay we found one so let's grab it yeah, go away you I'm also going to grab the space wrench and the screwdriver because I'll be using those uh, I found that the ones I use the most are excluding the universal controller board these four here space wrench is very good for banging things that's about all I've used it for so far screwdriver is a screwdriver standard tool the cable repair kit you've always always having wiring problems and then just in case the duct tape to um oops no to uh fix hole breaches we'll go into here and go away drag that in and now it's working excellent if you went up here you can see ship issues no errors detected that's the main thing that you will notice different between playing in easy and normal is you actually get this tab to see what's going on the list can get pretty long and sometimes the only way to see where a problem is or what it is definitely in normal mode is to open up this here and see that there's a massive flashing or it's grayed out or, or whatever massive flashing red signal sometimes you get lucky and you'll you'll click on something here and um it'll say look things are bad in this area and you're like oh really I didn't know that thanks for telling me so yep I much prefer to have this this here uh, kind of a I mean I don't see why that you wouldn't have some kind of a list anyway we're meant to be in the future aren't we this here is the scanning window this is things scanning and you can see we have by the look of it found over here the the buoy the buoy now the scanning uh, scanning radius that that's this here that's how far out the circle has scanned you can wait around it goes up to 2.75 uh, and that will have everything here scanned up can take a little bit of time so we're gonna speed it up up here we can't do it yep okay we can't do anything until our hyperdrive is ready to go which it is we can select where we want to go anyway you only get one local jump uh, you can jump to a place and then jump once more before you have to jump back to your starbase or you can just jump back to your starbase so it's up to you which way you want to go uh, it looks like because we're on three times speed yet yeah, we're pretty much got everything scanned up at the moment yet yeah, we do we can slow it down if we wanted to jump into the uh, yeah we we know that jump in here select right here now looking at all these things here you've got you know what it's actually easier to tell from the scanning room uh, things like this here Sing singularity detected do not approach so if we'd accidentally jumped into there there could be problems these ones here are generally some form of mineral deposit and this down the bottom 
of the little, um, what is it, square, not square, six-sided, sided shape, whatever that one is. Oh, God, I should remember. My, my wife's a teacher. We're always teaching the kids these things, and I always forget them. Anyway, this little symbol down the bottom, which kind of looks like a, a, a little butterfly or something with a question mark on it, that means that there is life form in that sector. Only go there if you got your guns charged up, ready to go. I don't want to. However, where we want to go, we do have one of those. So we're going to end up sh yeah, go away, you. We're going to end up shooting things. So let's um find the correct target sector. Yeah, I do. Here, yeah, that's where I want to go. For activating the hyperdrive, we must find the correct target sector. Huh? Right. Well, that's not ideal. This is where you set the destination coordinates for the hyperdrive. There's nothing to do for us yet. We need the scanner to find out which sector is the one. Well, does it actually want us to click on it here and there? Yeah. All right. Okay. You don't usually have to do that, but we're in a tutorial. And yeah, if you click on things, it'll tell you what's what, if you know what it is. Um, we have very basic scanners, so we can't find out what this here is. Uh, once we have upgraded scanners, we'll have another little button to click here, and it'll tell us what that is. It'll, well, we'll scan it, and then we'll tell us what it is. So, all right, we, yep, okay, cool. We, yep, okay, very good. Yep, that's where we want to go. Let's go. All right, so back into the viewing room. That is, that's actually pretty, that's pretty loud. That, that, that's, that's, that's pretty loud. That was a very loud hyperdrive. Here we are. All right, we click on the local scanners and we can see where it is. The numbers around here correspond one, two, three, four, five uh, with our, our viewing room. It's in view, viewing room five. So we come over here, click on viewing room five. There it is. You have three modes. I'm pretty much just saying what the tutorial's saying, but you've got three modes. You can take a picture if you wanted to. Happy snap. Uh, you can get a recording of the voice or, or the sound of the device or your guns. Very good. Uh, targeting, we can upgrade that if we wanted. And it's viewing room five. I'm gonna, we don't have to because this thing's pretty weak anyway. But we'll shoot it and destroy it. Primary and mission objective complete. Thank you. Just returning to base. Re well, yeah, that's the only thing we can do, so. And. Whoa. We are not alone here. We are not alone. external biological threats. And that is in room one. Ship or get us out of here. Go away, would you? Yes, go away. So let us. We don't need anything in scanning. Let's have a little look at it. Um. Power surge, right? Oh, we got a critical hit. Now we're going to do this just because the tutorial more or less wants you to, um, I swear that was a hit, to face off against him. And, oh, I, I managed to kill him before he's shot, he, he shot a, some kind of green slime at us. Eventually you will have to refuel the reactor so you don't run out of battery power, you'll find detailed instructions in the manual. We have worn our batteries down a little bit in doing so, in doing this, this little bit of fight here. Um, so that's more or less what they're saying there. Yeah, we don't have to, no, we don't have to refuel just yet. But anyway, we did manage to kill him, and we can zoom in and see that, yeah, there's a, some icky parts out there. Picture taken. Very good. Uh, but we've managed to kill him, and if we go back to main menu, access denied at the moment, this here will show up as a little this is all the bad things that you've managed to encounter at the moment. All the, the bad living things, I should say. Let's go. Oh, we're still waiting. We've got a minute 30 to go. Let's speed it up then. If we went into the scanning room, we're in a new location. So we are scanning all over again. So we, let's take this down. And there's no reason not to scan it. Uh, time is about the only thing. And exactly how long this video is going to go for will determine whether or not um, we want to scan everything. 
<laughs> but we're still waiting for the hyperdrive, are we? Yep, still waiting, still waiting. Let's just have a quick little look in the scanning room to make sure everything is okay there. Nothing, n nothing new has popped out. You, popped up. You can kind of see the areas that we have scanned already. There's just a, a slightly thicker and lighter uh, border around the areas. So the other one, this one, this one, and that one, they're the three so far that we have not yet scanned up. That's neither here nor there. You either wait or you don't. I'm not going to wait because we have things to do. Uh, and for me, that's, that's actually mostly go to bed. Not sure if you heard that. That was very loud again. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is the mission. Just saying uh, you managed to do it. Well done. Woohoo. Um, and this is your reward. Three Astra reward points earned. So, Ursa, are we going to talk about the giant space monsters? It is prudent to remind you at this time that all involuntary employees are bound by an indefinite non-disclosure agreement for the duration of their sentence. <laughs> what happens after their sentence is up? Unknown. That <laughs> has never occurred. Nope, I've never so, seen it happen. Space monsters. Your onboard manual has now been updated to include a bestiary that includes any space-born fauna that you have discovered, and those already cataloged by other Astra cartographers. Astra encourages you to experiment with your approaches to these creatures and report your findings. Some creatures Come are resistant on. to certain laser configurations, while others are vulnerable. Great. So Even when I played on normal. Astra Interstellar mm. Solutions discourages I had to put, I, had, I had to watch through all this too. Or the remaining time in a pilot. Perhaps click escape like me and skip it. Cheerful song? <sighs> Whoever programmed your script is the worst. Of course not. I am not an interactive script. Yeah. Anyway, um, the beast tree we now have and the only other one that anyone has seen is the Reaver, and we just seen the, the Tarbat. This things will spit a little bit of tar at you, so I guess that's why it has its name, Tarbat. We used uh, the Steady Laser, and normal, it takes normal de damage. We also have the Modulating Laser, um, which I haven't tried on this guy, so maybe it's better or not. The Reaver, uh, as you can see, we have no information on it, which means Anybody else that has found this so far, any other convicted criminals, um, uh, they didn't manage to find out how to beat it. They didn't manage to shoot it. <laughs> they didn't manage to find anything out. They de they're dead. They died. They're dead. Uh, we don't want to be them. I can tell you now it's modulating lasers that um, hurts the Reavers the most. But anyway, we, we may or we may not find out more about them at a later date. Right now, we have some credits. We can go and repair the ship. Um, if you need to repair the hull, you'll have the little click here and it'll let you repair it if you have the metal plates available. We don't have anything that we absolutely need. We have one control board remaining, so hopefully that's enough. You can take the control board out of something else, so just say we needed one in something vital like, say, the hyperdrive. We can decide to take it back out of the scanning room, whack it in there, so yeah you, you can survive a bit without reordering those i'm going to go to the upgrade ship and i am going to get the scanner upgrade install that that's going to cost two we have three remember uh the power is also um it's pretty useful once you get to solar i find it's it's quite useful just because I find I run out of a lot of power in space a lot of the time. I would also like to get the probe so that I could um, maybe collect some more valuable materials. What exactly is the best thing to do? I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try the probe out. First one's called Boomer. Apparently, that'll do. That'll do by me. All right. Uh, we should have a look at the next missions. We'll. We'll pick a next... Oh, no. I don't want either. Uh, <laughs> we can cull the, the Tarbat. 
Kill two Tarbats. They're the easiest of the mobs to actually kill, so that's probably one of the, the safer ones. And what's this one? We can admit that there are those within the company who believe peaceful coexistence with the Xenofauna that inhabits the nebula is possible, but until such a time that we figure out how to fence off our claims, persistent attacks on our property must be addressed. Uh, we have to scan seven sectors and kill two creatures. Uh, recording an audio of the creature will gain you that extra reward point. The tar bats, uh, if I take a photo of and record, you get an extra two. It actually equals the same amount with a little bonus. The main difference between these two, I can kill any with the um, Xenofauna. If I just choose this one, I have no choice but to go after these ones. Not guaranteed to find those, although we do know a sector where they are. We just came from there. So we can kill two of those and not do any of the extra little bits and, and hey presto, we we get four. That's probably the best one. Uh, we possibly could, if need be, sleep and see what happens tomorrow. Um, but as it is, we've actually gone relatively long on this. So what I'll do, I'll cut it there and we'll record the next episode. Whack that up. It, this was just going to be a quick little look at the game, but it's actually a far more detailed and in-depth game than I was expecting when I first started playing it. I, I, I've actually spent several hours playing this game now, and um, yeah, like I said before, I'm meant to be in bed, but I can't put the game down. I keep keep logging in and trying not to die. Doesn't work. Bit derpy, but we, we know that. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how much the long-term, the, the, the replay val replay replayable value of the game is, or but for the time being, I have been enjoying it. Um, yeah, well, we maybe do one or two more videos on it, see what you guys think. If you'd like to see more, let me know down below. Um, do the, the likes and the subscribes and, and definitely the message just to let me know what you think of the game. Uh, I will go through and do the next mission, hopefully without the computer holding my hand so much. We'll see a lot more things go wrong with the ship. That first little mission is very scripted. All the things that went wrong were meant to go wrong. Uh, it gets far more hectic when you're you're not in the tutorial and you're being attacked by two or three mobs and your your power goes down, your ventilation stops working, the hyperdrive needs recalibrating so you can't get out of there in a hurry and and you're, you're running out of battery power. So things things can get pretty hectic. Uh, we'll hopefully see something like that. I, I Hopefully or or not. One of the two. I'm fine either way. Uh, next next mission. Next um next episode. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. I'll see you later. <laughs>